What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and to part three of what if Drew Brees had signed with the Miami Dolphins, the third and final part, the final season here. Can we make a Super Bowl run? Well, you got to stick around to find out. And if you're new to the channel, this is your first time checking it out or something, that would be awesome if you subscribed, if you enjoyed it and left a like on the video, too. Well, it looks like Randy McMichael is holding out on us. He is up to a 97 overall. He's also 32 years old. Uh, let's put it down to a two-year contract, and he's happy with us now. We've got to bring back Orlando Mari. Having a good kicker is awesome, and we keep him. Same goes for the punter, Josh Bidwell. We've also got to bring back Ruben White. He is our number one cornerback, and he's going to stay. Everyone else here, we are going to let go, at least for now. All right, free agency went pretty quick. We just got two offensive linemen. We kind of lowballed both of them. Uh, we were their only offers, though, and they take it. So that really fixes up the holes we had on the team as a whole, it feels like. All right, recapping the draft. In the first round, we got Rob Hand, a defensive end at the 24th overall pick. Second round, we got a middle linebacker, Chris Snell. Then in the third round, we got the center, who was projected to go in first or second round. He fell to us, and I can see why. He's only a 73. Then we got a backup running back and defensive tackle, another defensive lineman, and then rounded things out with a tight end. Well, we've got one more season to try to bring home a Lombardi trophy with this team. This is actually going to be my second time recording season three. First time around, we had a great season, made the playoffs. Drew Brees had like 44 touchdowns. It was pretty crazy. But when I was loading into our playoff game against Kansas City, my game froze similar to what happened with the Jamarcus Russell rebuild video. Luckily, I did have a save that took me back to the draft, so I did have to redraft some things. But we are here, and this team is too talented to forego the final season, so we're going to be doing that. One quick checkup here on the depth chart, just so you guys remember who's on the team. Drew Brees, Ronnie Brown, Steve Smith, Chris Chambers, Nate Burleson, Randy McMichael. We got a beastly offensive line. We got some good pass rushers here, a solid defensive tackle. Linebacking core is decent. We have a pretty solid secondary as well. Special teams remains the same. And so, like I kind of said last year, we have no excuses going into this season. And let's go for it all. All right, 10 and 6. We made it as a wild card team, the sixth seed, I believe. So we have one more crack at it. It wasn't the best start, 0 and 2, but that was against playoff teams. We then beat the Jets, beat the Broncos before falling to the Ravens. We beat down on the Raiders, beat the Redskins in overtime, beat a bad Chargers team, lost to a very good decent Bills team actually most competitive division in the league Bills went nine and seven and they were fourth in the division beat Kansas City beat Dallas badly 49 to three fell to New England again beat Buffalo New York Philadelphia and then a one point loss to the Jets to wrap up the season Another big year for Drew Brees, over 4,000 yards, 36 touchdowns, 13 interceptions, and I'm pretty sure the reason he's putting up those kinds of big numbers is because I changed the passing slider in the coaching uh, settings, essentially. Uh, shout out to that comment in the part one of the Drew Brees video that told me to do that. Somehow, I've been playing this game for like five years and didn't even know that existed. I guess I need to explore the menus a little bit better. Holy cow, 1,600 yards and 12 TDs for Ronnie Brown. Our backup running back only had 30 yards all season, so Ronnie Brown really was a workhorse for us. He also led the team in receptions. Steve Smith with way more yards, though, 1,211 TDs. McMichael had a good season, almost a a thousand yards for Chambers. Burleson played good as well. Offensive line definitely did have their struggles. As you saw earlier, Drew Brees was sacked over 40 times. Rick Hartley over 100 tackles for him. We got several TFLs there. 16 sacks for Jason Taylor just when you thought he might be getting a little too old. He puts, he puts up his best season in this uh, little video, at least, it apparently doesn't record his stats all the way that far back. But if that's his final season, that's quite a way to go out. And then defensively, we got ourselves a good handful of interceptions. Here we are, Lucas Oil Stadium. Drew Brees and the Dolphins trying to, I mean, at least get a playoff win. We're 0-2 in the playoffs so far. But Peyton Manning and the Indianapolis Colts stand in our way on wild card weekend 
It's time for Drew Brees and the offense to get to work. He's going to dump it off in the flat here. Ronnie Brown with the catch. Breaks through a tackle and picks up a first down. Second down for the Dolphins. Brees to throw. Looking for Smith and he's picked off. He forced it to him. So Indianapolis was able to capitalize on the interception. They got in for six. So now we're back out here on offense. Nice catch there. Randy McMichael gets a block down the right sideline in the Colts territory. Trying to get into the end zone before the end of the first half. Dump it off to Smith as he's actually open this time. He's got nine yards. Here's a third down and inches situation now looking to convert. Breeze tries to throw it on field, but he's hit as he lets it go. Intended for Burleson. Instead, it's another Drew Breeze pick. Can we do something in these last few minutes? Up top for Burleson. He has it. Down the left sideline. Tackles are missed. Nate Burleson's going to tie the game before halftime. Indianapolis was able to put together a field goal drive before halftime, but now Miami, early in the third quarter, is faced with a third down. Breeze over the middle, and Burleson almost came down with a great catch, but the hit jars the ball free. Oh, the ball's on the ground! Bennett picks it up! He fumbled the punt return! First down after the turnover. Quick throw from Breeze. It's going to be caught by Chambers inside of the five. Goal to go. Breeze, quick throw left side, and he's nearly picked. That was dangerous. Second and goal. Throw into the end zone. Chris Chambers finishes the job, and Miami takes their first lead. One quarter left to go to get our first playoff victory. Breeze throws left side for Chambers. He has to come back for it, and... Picks up about six. Here's third down now. It's a high snap for Breeze. He's going to throw it left side and Brown was out of bounds. What a punt. Special teams playing a huge role today. That was another solid game that picked up a first down. Now Manning pump fake and fires to the end zone. Reggie Wayne with the touchdown. And the lead. Indianapolis threatening to blitz, and they do. Quick throw from Breeze is going to be caught by Burleson. We're going to have to burn a timeout. Pretty crucial third down right here for Drew Breeze. Throws right side Burleson. He has the catch. We have to use another timeout. Need about 10 more yards to get into field goal range. Breeze got it. Burleson. Inside of the 25, we're in field goal range for Orlando Mare. Orlando Mare from 41 yards. Snap is good. Hold is good. Kick is up. And it is good as well. We are going to be headed to overtime. Intercepted. White inside of the 25 and a field goal could win it. Orlando Mare sent us into overtime. Can he send us to the divisional round? Yes. He can! Finally able to get a win. And of course it comes against Indianapolis and Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning just being Peyton Manning here in the playoffs. Drew Brees played solid. He started off by throwing two picks, but then he threw two touchdowns, which got us right back into the game. So after our wild card win, it's going to take us to Foxborough, taking on the Patriots, a team that swept us this season. But you know what? It's hard to beat a team three times in the same season. Let's make it hard for them to do it today. We've got an early third down in this game now. Breeze stepping up, throws incomplete. What are my receivers doing? After a Tom Brady interception, we are going to take over. Breeze throws. Gets it out to Burles and making a nice catch there. Hit the two-minute warning now. Breeze fires over the middle. It's Burles and again, step on a big time in the playoffs. Over the middle. Chambers with the catch. He is gone. We finally have points on the board. 54 yards. Drew Brees to Chris Chambers. We surrounded Drew Brees with weapons, and he's using them. 
Second down. Breeze throws on the move. Dangerous pass is going to be picked off by Smith. Breeze to throw again. He's got his running back open downfield. Brown makes the reception. Breaking away from the defense. Touchdown Miami. We go up by 14. Another big time Drew Breeze touchdown pass. Ronnie Brown went out, ran a route, took it all the way to the end zone. And just like that, we are headed to the AFC title game after shocking the Patriots 14 to nothing. 230 yards, two touchdowns, and a pick for Drew Brees. Solid 64% completion percentage. And now an AFC championship appearance. Well, we've got a rematch against the Cincinnati Bengals. They knocked us out of the wild card last year. Now the winner has the opportunity to go to the Super Bowl while the loser has to go home. We're going to start off with the football here. Brees throws over the middle, threatening a needle to Burton. So we're having a pretty solid game opening drive. How about a flea flicker here? Breeze going deep here looking for Smith. And he's torturing the Bengals again. Touchdown on the trick play. Hopefully our defense can get some more stops in this game than they did last year. But so far the offense is looking like they did in last year's playoff game. Third down in 16 as we enter the second quarter. Breeze throws on the move, and he almost completed to Burleson. He would have been short anyway. Steve Smith again, another big time reception. Holy cow. I wasn't expecting him to come down with that one. Well, we've gotten ourselves in a little bit of a sticky situation after the big play. Third down and 17, and Breeze's pass is going to be out of bounds. Orlando Mari has a strong wind at his back, which means we're going to attempt this 58-yard field goal, and he nails it. Smith to return. Take this one right up the middle. He has some solid blocking here. Chasing him from behind. He's at the 50, the 40, the 30-yard line. Can Steve Smith do it again? Yes, he can. Touchdown, Miami. Quickly recapturing the lead after a long Chris Perry touchdown run. We are one quarter away from the Super Bowl, but first we got to convert on third down. And that's what McMichael does. Oh, nice blocking here for Ronnie Brown. Breaking this to the left side into Cincinnati territory. Less than two minutes to go to the Super Bowl now. Breeze to McMichael, that's a first down. Cincinnati has to use a timeout. So we get our revenge, and we're also headed to take on, I don't know who yet, in Super Bowl 46 after tacking on a late field goal to make sure that we had the two-score lead and the victory. Let's move on to Super Bowl 46. So here we are. It's Super Bowl 46. And it's going to be between the Miami Dolphins and the Seattle Seahawks. Two very different teams. The Dolphins were the sixth seed in their conference, while the Seahawks were the one. We're going to start off this game here with the football, but we do face an early third down. Breeze over the middle. Can't connect with Burleson. That's a three and out. Well, each defense gets a stop to start off this game. Now Breeze is going to dump this throw off to Ronnie Brown, breaking through some tackles down the left sideline, and we're going to have points in this Super Bowl. Touchdown, Miami. He was only about 10 yards past the line of scrimmage when he made the reception, but then just trucked through like three defenders right there, and the rest was history. Second quarter action now after a defense got us another stop. Breeze is going to be picked off. Oh, man. I think I threw that a tad late. Less than two minutes to go, and we are in a third down and long situation. Right side, looking for Smith incomplete. Oh, Breeze has his old him up and downfield. He went to go one-handed, and he missed. Third down and two. Open in the flat, Ronnie Brown, Drew Brees' safety blanket. Fresh set of downs after that. 
Now Breeze wants to go deep for Smith, making a big play in the Super Bowl inside of the red zone. Second and 10, Seattle sends the blitz, and Breeze throws a terrible pass, picked off again. Oh, intercepted by Hartley. I was not expecting that. Well, Chris Sims just gave us a very nice gift, and we're looking to use it well. Breeze doesn't have the best set of wheels, but he's still got a set. He's going to dive forward inside of the... 40 yard line. Another third down and long for Miami. Breeze is gonna throw. He's got Brown and he's got a third down conversion. Looking to get in the end zone again as we are now in the fourth quarter, but instead, Breeze is gonna be sacked again. Third and long for Miami. Trying to convert. Instead, we're gonna get sacked and that's gonna make this a long field goal attempt. Mare's kick is up, and it looks like it's going to be good. It might all come down to this. It's a fourth down and five for Seattle. A minute 24 left to go in the game. Sims dropping back to throw. Pressured floats this one out to the left side, and it's going to be caught. What a catch in double man coverage. Seattle still has a chance to take home their first ever Lombardi trophy. This is going to be a 50-yard attempt to tie the game with 50 seconds left on the clock. And that's what Seattle is not going to do off the upright. Holy cow, I thought for sure he was going to make it in, but he pulled it to the right. I thought we might have overtime, but no, and Seattle fans are outraged. And that will do it after six long seasons. Not only did we finally get Drew Brees and the Miami Dolphins a playoff victory, we put four of them together in a row, and it's going to culminate in a Super Bowl title for the Miami Dolphins. Drew Brees is going to get a ring here, and that, I guess, is what happens in an alternate reality where Drew Brees signs with the Miami Dolphins instead of the New Orleans Saints. Well, that is going to do it for this video. If you had enjoyed it, that'd be awesome if you left a like and subscribe to the channel. Leave any suggestions for other old Madden rebuilds and whatnot in the comment section down below. And you never know, I just may do them. But until next time, this has been Jeffrey reminding you to stay moist.